Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today to talk about red lipsticks. I have loved red lipsticks forever, but I've steered away from them because I really never found one that I was comfortable wearing. It. So I never found one that I was really comfortable with. I love them. I've always admired red lipstick and it's just really sophisticated. It's such a look. You can have minimal makeup and then put on a red lip and it just ties everything together and it looks like you're completely made up. I've been searching for a red lipstick. I think it's been kind of like off and on since I started wearing makeup. So it's been years. I've gotten lipsticks that like have a red tone to them, but they're not actually red. I have, have a tendency to steer more towards the wine colors, the pinks, the purples, and not necessarily red. I found an article, and I'll, I'll link it down below, that really talked about how to find the right shade for your skin tone. And it was, it was really helpful because it really helped me find a shade that I like. And if I don't find the exact right shade, now I know what to do to kind of tailor it to what I want or what I'm looking for. So, how to find the right shade of lipstick. The first suggestion that they had was to try on different shades, which I've always done, but like I said, I've always had a problem finding something that I'm, I was like totally comfortable with. Well, they said if you buy a shade that's too light, you can layer it with another lipstick, which a lot of people do anyway, but you can layer it to make it darker if it's too light for you. And then if it's too dark, they suggest that you layer a gold lip gloss on top of the lipstick to lighten it up. They mentioned that the lipstick texture can kind of determine what the color is gonna be on your lips. So they said that if you get like a cream or a gloss or a matte, that can really determine how the lipstick is gonna look on you, which I never really thought about, that the texture can, can kind of control or kind of determine how the lipstick is gonna look on you. I have a tendency to want more of a cream type of lipstick. I just like the way that it feels on my lips. The mattes are okay, but there are some mattes that are really drying. And what I normally do when I use a mat is that I make sure that I take like a lip balm and put it under it. Otherwise, you know, by the end of the evening, my lips are just like really, really dry. Now I'm gonna go over the best shades for skin tones. So if you're a darker skin tone, you should try using like the deep reds or reds with blue undertones. So that would be like the wines, berries, and the brick reds. Now I love wines and berries, even though I'm not a really dark skin tone, but the brick reds, I mean, they're okay, but I don't particularly like them on me. I would have to add something with it to, I guess kind of, I don't know, I guess kind of lighten it up or tone it down some. So if you're out of skin tone, the yellow or the orange based reds will look best on you. So it would be more of a, a coral or a poppy color. If you're medium skin tone, you're more versatile. So you can do either the cool tones or the warm tones. So if you're a fair skin tone, you should choose cool hued reds that have blues and purples as their base. In my search for the perfect red lippy, I kind of searched all over to try to figure out what it was I wanted. So I looked at the drugstore lipsticks and then I looked at the higher end lipsticks and I end up selling on four. So the first one, and I love Maybelline products, the first one is a Maybelline product and it is called Ruby For Me and the number is 385. I don't know if you guys can necessarily see that. But this, this is it right here. And um, I actually like it. It's a really nice cream formula. It feels really good on. It goes on really smooth. I really liked it a lot. And it is really reasonable. I can't remember the exact price, but I will link it down below for you guys to see. But yeah, this is the Maybelline. I really like, I really liked it. 
and I was kind of surprised that I would like it because when I looked at the color I'm like uh, am I really gonna like this but actually all the ones that I like I actually like them on also so the next one is Anastasia's Rosewood now when I look at the box it looked more red than it did rose, so that's why I chose it. But then upon opening it, it looked more of the rose color, but on it looks more red. So I'll swatch it for you guys. But compared to, actually compared to the red, it does look more of a rose, but on it looks, it looks more red. So this one is really not, I guess kind of, it wouldn't be considered a red, but I thought it would be more red. The next one is MAC Ladybug. That's that one, and I'll swatch it. And when I looked at this one, I was like, this really isn't gonna look good on me. But upon putting it on, it, it looked fine. And it almost kind of reminds me of the, the Maybelline one. But next to each other, they don't look quite the same. But the formulas are very nice. Very creamy, and I really like, I like them both. And then the fourth and final one is another MAC one. And it is the famous Ruby Woo. <laughs> and I'll put this one on so you guys can see it. And you guys, I have them mixed up guys, sorry about this. So this one is the Ladybug. And that's the last one. And then this one is the Ruby Woo. So. Let me show you this one again. Let me double check to make sure. So the writing is so darn tiny. And then, yeah. So this is the, the Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. And then this one is the Ladybug right here. So these are the two. They're very different. This one, the Ladybug one seems more, I mean, it kind of seems kind of brick. I mean, they seem similar, but they're different, if that makes sense. I like them both. I like them both. And these are the colors again. So again, that's the Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. And then that's the Ladybug. And then that's the Anastasia. And then this is the Maybelline one. In the comment section below, guys, tell me what lipsticks you like, red lipsticks that you like, the formulas, and if you mix them together or layer any other products like a lip gloss on top of them. So the last thing that I ended up getting was the MAC lip pencil and it is in cherry. That's the lip pencil right here. They also have the Ruby Woo, but I decided not to get that one because I knew that I had purchased other lipsticks and I kind of wanted to be able to kind of mix and match them a little bit. But yeah, I like I actually like them all. And I am going to have to wear them all to give you what my take is on what is my favorite. Right now, I'm leaning toward what I'm wearing. And what I'm wearing is the MAC Ruby Woo. So yeah, I like them all. The formulas are really nice. And I was really surprised again by the Maybelline. That one, I really, really like the formula. It is really creamy and I really like it. Subscribe to see more beauty, hair, and lifestyle content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Stay healthy and happy. And remember to keep pursuing your goals, plans, and dreams. You got this. Bye, guys.